Throughout history, people have spent a lot of time in search of the supreme power that controls the entire world. Indeed, they search for an answer of the profound questions of existence: Where did we come from? What happens after death? Why are we here on this earth? Who brought the things surrounding us? The sky, the seas, and the mountains. Who controls the succession of day and night, sun and moon? Did this accurate system come by accident? They try their hardest to understand the philosophy of the self, of life, and of death. Stemming from this, ancient nations had several perceptions about God. Most of the ancient perceptions tend to be polytheistic. Different gods were thought to have specific functions, which led them to imagine conflicts among deities. These deities included the four elements, animals, and sometimes abstract forces. It was a very complex mixture of ideas, as some deities were believed to have different manifestations; others, multiple mythological roles. Ancient nations believed also in another life starting after death. So they conserved dead bodies using different ways of mummification. There were several ways of worshiping. Sacrificing animals was the most common ritual. Prayer, on the other hand, was changing and developing over time. The urge of having a subject to worship was so pressing, people decided they can manufacture things and figures to pray to. If it's made of rock, it might become building material when needed. If it's from dough, eaten in times of hunger. The concept of God in the Abrahamic religions was revealed to humanity through messengers. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam perceive God as a being who created the world. And rules over the universe. It has been narrated in the Bible that in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. In the Quran, Allah the Almighty says, "It is He who created the heavens and the earth in six days." A passage in the Torah states, "Listen, Israel, Hashem is our God. Hashem is one." In the Bible, we read, "And Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is." Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The Quran reports that, but the God of you all is the one Allah. There is no god but He. The three major religions call for monotheism, but the creed of Trinity in Christianity makes it different from the others, giving God three natures in one and humanly characteristics such as having a son. Islam is the only religion that preserved a perfect concept of God, refuting all previous religions and giving the most accurate perception of God, called Allah, the One with One Nature. As Allah says in the Quran about Himself, He is Allah, the One, Allah, the eternally besought of all. He begets not, nor was begotten, and there is none comparable unto Him. The questions raised above cannot be convincingly answered if we omit God from the answers. Rational belief in God that is founded on conviction in the necessity of the existence of the Creator is the departing point in the search for answers. Human mind, with all its magnificent achievements, is limited. It cannot reach final answers for those most important questions on its own. Only God, who brought the universe into being, developed its systems, and created humans, is able to provide the correct manual that can perfectly guide us and guarantee our well-being. Having an authentic concept of God gained from a genuine, unadulterated source is essential. It protects from misguidance and deviation. In this way. Islam is the only key word and the solution.